Welcome back to the channel and uh, I'm outside, I've got a block of uh, concrete here and there was a car fire at Luton um, yesterday called by, apparently calling the fire brigade a diesel car. I believe it was a pre-facelift non-hybrid Range Rover Evoque. But lots of people said it couldn't have been a diesel car because diesel can't catch fire. What they mean is I've got some diesel here and this is a diesel filter for the, i just uh, done a, a fuel filter change. And what they mean is that when you try and set fire to it, it doesn't do a great amount. It does burn, you can see it clearly burns, but the uh, fire puts itself out. And this is because it's on concrete here. The heat's being dissipated into the concrete. It's got high thermal mass. But if I, uh, if I have a little puddle of diesel, like you might get, and then put some insulation from electrical wiring on it, what happens is that the wiring forms a wick. Now it's very windy today, but you'll see that this will continue to burn for quite some time. And obviously the fuel you'd imagine would keep burning onto it. You can see that burns really rather well indeed. Um, yeah, and that, that will do that for some time. So diesel does catch fire, and generally what happens in a car fire is you have an electrical fault, um, or you have a brake system failure, or perhaps um, in modern cars you have... Um, let's move that out the way of the fire. Uh, you know, you'll have something like a, uh, an air conditioning fault, perhaps. And uh, these will uh, set fire to a fuel line, then the fuel line will burst and then the uh, fuel will melt onto something in the engine bay like the uh, sound insulation or something like that and the fire will continue and it will it will feed itself and obviously generally uh, the, once the fuel filter goes up I mean I've only used a tiny amount of the fuel in the fuel filter um, that will continue and you've got uh, you've got the brake fluid reservoir and all sorts of things under the bonnet that can catch fire Obviously, um, diesel fuel has a huge amount of energy density. It's the most energy dense thing in any car. Um, it's much more energy dense than the battery or petrol or whatever else you might want to uh, have powering your car. Diesel is the most energy dense and it will burn for ages and ages. What it won't tend to do is it won't um, tend to explode. Uh, for it to explode, it has to be vaporized. Um, and obviously that's what happens in the diesel engine. It gets vaporized by the injector but you can see this, this will just continue burning. And it is the diesel burning, not the thing. Look, if I put more fuel on, you get more fire. Um, so I'm, I'm now gonna put the fire out, but um, that goes to show you, you can definitely have diesel alight. And in fact, you can see the diesel along this bottom bit has warmed the concrete up enough that it's quite happily burning away, even in the very strong breeze that's here today. So, you know, don't, uh, Diesel cars catch fire, unfortunately, all the time. Um, and unfortunately, I think in Luton, what happened was the diesel car, car caught fire, and then petrol and diesel cars caught fire around it, and there are probably a few EVs in there that also caught fire, and it all uh, it all got rather nasty with explosions and stuff, uh, and building collapse. So yes, car fires are a real thing. Diesel cars catch fire, petrol cars catch fire, hybrid cars catch fire, and electric cars to catch fire. And uh, the reason that you get car fires of any kind is um, because there's a great density of energy. You've got a lot of heat uh, from the braking system, from the air conditioning system, from the wiring system, and from um, the engine or motor or whatever it is. Uh, and you've got a lot of energy density. You have the petrol, diesel, or um, battery can, can store a huge amount of energy. The only car um, that I know of that won't uh, catch fire um, is um, a car with an LFP battery. And the rest of the car might catch fire, but the battery apparently will not. Um, so that's, that's a good thing to look forward to as LFP cars become more common. Hopefully should have fewer fires. So that's, that's it. And look, look, I'm, I'm just going to prove it's definitely in the diesel that's burning. It's nearly out. A couple of drops of diesel onto a hot surface and you get quite a dramatic increase in fire level. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.